say you are standing and a ball comes hits you you might get a bump but if the ball is coming at a very great speed well it might knock you down energy possessed by matter due to its state of motion is known as kinetic energy this is because a particle or a body is in a state of motion so whenever any body is in a state of motion it possesses the kinetic energy and this kinetic energy is related to the speed greater is the speed greater is the kinetic energy and vice versa greater the kinetic energy greater the speed so in the first case when the ball was coming at a lesser speed the body or the ball had a lesser kinetic energy hence you got a bump but when it is coming at a very great speed more the speed the body the ball in that case has a very high kinetic energy since it has a very high kinetic energy it has the power to even knock you down so this kinetic energy is related to speed and this is the energy which is possessed by matter due to its motion so let's see what happens in the three forms the solid liquid and the gaseous state so in the solid state we know that the particles vibrate about the mean positions their speed is very less therefore they have the minimum kinetic energy in case of gas the particles are moving at a very high speed since their speed is the highest therefore they have the highest kinetic energy and the kinetic energy of liquids is between the kinetic energy of solids and gas because the speed of the liquid particles is greater than that of solids but but less than in case of gases so solids have the minimum or the least kinetic energy and gases have the highest kinetic energy